guys um it's, I got a real quick cycle update and then um, <laughs> I got some very exciting news so first off let me show you this I just got up my allergies are really bad so I'm all like puffy and my voice is not good. Um, so cycle day 23. Yeah, I remember when I took those tests. I took a lot, guys, and I just didn't record them because they were negative and I was sad about it. Um... This is cycle day 28. I thought I saw something. Y'all probably can't with this lighting. But, anyways, um, cycle day 30 rolled around. And the big shocker is the amp flow started out of like nowhere. Because I usually have. 40 day cycles or 50 day cycles so for me to start on cycle day 30 that was like a big um, deal you know very unusual what I really think it is is you know how when girls work together their cycles get in sync well me and my best friend Vanessa who are co-teachers so I made her start five days early and she made me start possibly because I have like a, you know, a 40 day cycle. I have been or 56 days was my other two. So, um, she made me start possibly 10 to 20 days early. So I'm glad it's right on time, but it's kind of weird. So, and of course it was disappointing. Amp flow came and, um. Okay, and this is cycle day three of the new cycle. Um, about that, I tried to call my doctor yesterday, cycle day two, um, to get the Clomid because I forgot on Thursday. I didn't, I didn't even think about it once. And I called yesterday and they were closed because they close at 12 and I forgot again. So, um... Anyways, the answer and service tried to reach the doctor, couldn't get her, um, because she wasn't on call this weekend or whatever, so, then, I, I work at the Child Development Center her kids go to, and one of her kids is right across the hall from me, so I tried to catch her when she came to pick him up, and I asked her if she would call in my prescription, so, she told me she would, and to put my name and all that on her phone, so I did. But, I think she forgot, because this is cycle day three. And, um, I haven't got a call from Walgreens yet, so I'm guessing she forgot. I don't really know if I should email her on Facebook. I don't want to seem like stalkerish or whatever. I'm just kind of desperate to get, you know, medicine. So, anyways, um... This, if I get to do it, this will be my last round of Clomid, um, 100 milligrams. And then, because this is my sixth cycle doing it, um, then I will move on to Femera. Sorry guys, I'm sleepy, I just woke up. So, we will see how that goes. Now for the exciting news. You're going to be shocked about this, as I was, okay? <coughs> Just a minute. I'm sorry. Mm. My gosh. Anyways, I told you I'm getting sick. Um... So there's this girl that I've known for like probably 
I don't know, a, a lot of years, but I haven't seen her in like 12 years, roundabouts. And she, last year, around this time probably, she contacted me and told me she was pregnant and she didn't know what she was going to do about it. Well, I told her then, you know, me and my husband's been trying and we haven't been successful, so... If, I hope you're not considering abortion, but um, I don't know what you're planning to do, but basically we would be happy to adopt the baby if all else fails and, you know, the situation. So, um, she thought about it and then she was like, no, uh, I think I'm going to keep this one. And it was real early in her pregnancy. And then, um, so I was like, okay, whatever, must not have meant to be, you know? And so, um, then she ended up miscarrying that one last year. Well, last weekend, she contacted me and was like, hey, I'm pregnant and I'm almost four months pregnant and I wanted to know if y'all wanted to adopt my baby. So... Of course, I was like, yes, of course, you know. So, we're going to meet with an adoption lawyer this Wednesday um, that does private adoptions and, like, talk everything out and see what we need to do. Um, she's due in October, so I'm excited about that. I could potentially have a baby if nothing else fails potentially have a baby by October and I'm so excited about that um we're still gonna keep trying I'm still gonna go through Femera and all of that because you never know what what can happen with adoption so I'm going to go through that you know um I forgot to show you this it's crazy because some of you knew and I just pulled some stitches out this is my faith baby blanket that I was making, that I am making. Crochet in it. Anyways, remember I said it like a, a few weeks ago that I'm going to start speaking that um, we're going to have a baby. I'm going to stop being so negative and I'm going to start speaking it and claiming it. And that's what I've been doing. Um, I started making this blanket in faith. And I started thanking God for the baby and believing that it was going to happen. And I didn't know how or when or what. And within weeks of me changing my mindset like that and doing this in faith, this girl contacts me about adopting her baby. If that wasn't God, I don't know what was. Like, it just, like, boom, 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 fell into place. And, um, I believe, truly, the Bible is right when it says, Power and death lieth in the tongue. And that's the truth. You know, maybe that's probably why it hasn't happened. Because I haven't, I've spoke it before, but I've also spoke negative behind it. You know? So... What I'm really hoping happens is um, I'm hoping that while she's pregnant, I end up pregnant. And then I'll have that one in October and then a few months later have my own. Um, we'd still go through with adoption whether I get pregnant or not because that's giving a baby a good home. And I know that baby needs a good home. She's, she's not in the best living conditions. I'll just say that. And so I know... That baby needs us, you know, and I don't think God wouldn't have opened that door if he didn't want us to step through it and he didn't mean it for us. You know what I mean? So we're still going to go through with that no matter what, unless the mom changes her mind and we are still going to keep trying and I'm super excited. I would love, love, love to find out I'm pregnant like next month or whatever because I obviously I'm not this month but that don't mean nothing is going to happen in Jesus name it's going to happen but um I would love that 
baby back to back like that. <laughs> they could be fun and be like twins, but a few months apart. But I'd still be rocking it. And I'm super excited. So now there'll be two kinds of videos on my channel. TTC and adoption. So y'all keep up and um once we do get hit 150 subscribers we'll do I'll do um a drawing so y'all share the you know my info with people and let's try to reach that and thank y'all all for subscribing those of you who have and who are keeping up with us it means a lot and um we don't have really a lot of people around us that understand what, you know, dealing with infertility feels like. So, it feels nice to get to go on YouTube and get to vent and, you know, I, I know I'll have faith and stuff, but I know I'll still have, I'll still have, like, sad days and bad days because it comes with it. And it's really nice to get to get on here and to talk to people that can relate to me that's been there or is there right along with me going through the same thing I'm going through and so I really appreciate y'all and if you know us please do not tell our anybody you know anybody around us about the adoption or our trying to conceive stuff um I want that strictly to stay with my YouTube family not like you know, my actual circle of people. So, anyways, thank you for watching. And God bless y'all. And I will keep y'all updated. Bye.